falling victim to a bit of FOMO when you hear your friends and coworkers talking about the Clubhouse app? Well, in today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through what the CH app is, explain how to use it, and most importantly, show you how to leverage Clubhouse rooms and clubs for your dog training journey. Let's get after it. Hey guys, I'm Jariah Dingle, and welcome to another episode of Dingle Days. Clubhouse is a new type of app based on voice. It allows people everywhere to talk, tell stories, develop ideas, and meet interesting new people all around the world. It launched in the spring of 2020 with its founders Paul Davidson and Rohan Seth. Today, Clubhouse app has over 6 million users and is possibly valued well above $100 million. Early adopters love the product and has been featured in publications like the New York Times, Forbes, The Telegraph, TechCrunch, The Information, CNBC, and Wired, as well as a ton of blog posts. I'll link to a few in the description below. As of right now, the app is still in private beta and by in invite only, which means that an existing Clubhouse member like myself has to onboard you. Whoever invites you will be pinned to you for life. So make sure you're comfortable with that attachment when you prepare to send that invite. Once on the platform, users will get one or two invites that they can share with people who have iOS. That's right, it's only available to iOS users for now. So sorry, Android fam. The more engaged you are with the app and contribute to the community, think like the Reddit app model, the more invites added to your account and your ability to host clubs opens. The main feed or hallway if you would, needs a little work in my opinion. It's like an infinite scroll that lists live chat rooms, categories, according to the areas of interest. You can join open virtual rooms and listen to others have free flowing conversations. You raise your hand to be invited up to speak on the stage if you would, or you can get tapped by those already speaking to more actively participate. You can also choose to just leave quietly without disrupting the conversation. Remember, the types of people you follow will contribute to the curation of your hallway experience. So make sure you think about that in advance. Here are some of the topics covered in the app. Health, wellness, life, faith, arts, culture, sports, you get it. But I'm here truly focusing on the dog training journey and being able to talk to a lot of professionals in the field. I'll link to a few awesome blog posts by these authors if you want an in-depth walkthrough of some of the other key features of Clubhouse. However, I think the place where dog owners can best leverage the experience of this platform is with clubs and rooms. You can hit the explore icon on the homepage to find people and clubs to follow. Clubhouse alerts you whenever a session of interest is about to go live and you can track upcoming rooms through the calendar icon on the homepage. When you enter a room, audio switches on and you can hear people speaking. It's like walking into a conference room where a panel or a Q&A session is happening. The room's creator or moderators can decide who gets to speak. I'll list a few dog training resources in the description below that I personally checked out so you can begin to explore for yourself. Nobody has to worry about how they look and the terms of use make it so you can't record the conversations without every participant's permission. Specifically, the decision to record any room has to be made before you start the room so the appropriate notices are added for people to see. This is your chance, yes, even you introverts, to ask questions and come away with key insights for pet parents. Essentially, the app is a combination of a podcast network, a virtual event space, and a live chat but with the energy and immediacy and interaction activity of an offline meeting. Plus you can gain a ton of value while multitasking or going about your day-to-day -day routine. Overall, as a tech tool for dog owners, the app provides an outlet for fresh, engaging, and informative content. It's unlike other social media platforms. The focus is on the conversation value, not the production, which is helping usher in an era of voice-based social networks with audio-only chat that we may see replicated across other platforms. I see it as a disruptor to the mundane, interactive content landscape and another platform for you to leverage in your dog training journey. While Clubhouse app is still in its private beta, you may not be able to join the Dingle Days community on the app. You can still download the app and reserve your username today. But once the app opens up to the public, I think it'll be a great new place to engage and connect with you and the pet parents on tips, strategies, and technologies that better enable our dogs to share in our daily lives. So what do you think? Are you gonna download the Clubhouse app? I've got no affiliate for it, but I do think it's a great platform for you to get out, share, and have some open and honest conversations with some folks. Curate your surroundings because like any social media, you never know who's on the other end. However, I have gotten a ton of value out of the app and I think you will too. If you got value out of this video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Until next time, continue to get after it.